Hey everyone, this is Rasha Elhem, I'm a success trainer, and for you to be a success, you need to learn how to deal with rejection. Actually, I'm telling you today that rejection is a myth. Rejection is a natural thing. For example, if you asked, if you wanted to join a certain team, you wanted to play in a movie, you wanted to, you offered someone a proposal, a marriage proposal, um, you, uh, you wanted to uh, get a raise in your job, and it got rejected, that's okay. If it stops here, that's no problem at all because in the first place, you did not have what you were asking for. So you did not lose anything, right? The problem happens is that when we add a mental label to the rejection, for example, somebody tells you no, then you say, oh, they are right, nobody loves me, nobody wants me, um, I, I will never make friends, I cannot succeed, I'm a failure. When you add this, you create by yourself, with your self-talk, your mental suffering. If it stops at rejection, that's fine. And remember, there's a golden rule for you and for your beloved ones to share with them. Is the rule of the SW four times. How is that? SW, 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 SW. The first one. Someone will, someone won't, so what? Someone is waiting for me. So that's how it is. Not everybody is gonna like say yes to what you have. And not everybody's gonna say no, but like, so what? You did not lose anything. Someone is waiting for you. Someone wants what you have. Someone appreciates your work. Someone, there, like there are billions of people in the planet, someone does. So remember this. And as well to keep you going, remember how celebrities and famous people got rejected and it's very successful now in, in our lives and they participated to humanity. I mean, like not just like on their own level, this, they, they extended their efforts and their help to people around them. For example, like Oprah Winfrey, she got fired from the TV station she used to work for because she cannot stay uh, away from her emotions when she's interviewing people. Um, Jack Canfield, the author of Chicken Soup for the Soul that sold over half a billion copies worldwide and maybe was translated into 40 languages. His book was rejected 144 times before he got a yes. If he gave up after 10 times, then he wouldn't achieve what he had achieved today. Uh, Walt Disney, he was fired because he lacks imagination. Imagine, like Walt Disney was fired from the place he was working because he lacks imagination. That's incredible. And even when he started his project, he got bankrupt, but he kept on going. And now he's, he's considered one of the people who participated and had like uh, lots of fun, created lots of fun for people around the world. And he's definitely a success. Uh, Thomas Edison was considered like a failure at, in school. Imagine the guy who invented the, the lamp for us and illuminated our life. So rejection is a myth. It depends how you, what's your self-talk when, when this happens. Remember, no mental labeling. Don't say, I am, they were right. I know that I'm not gonna win, blah, 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 blah. Like pick the SW, SW, SW. Some will, some won't. So what? Someone is waiting for me. I hope you like this tip. Share it with your beloved ones. And thank you for watching and have a great evening. Bye-bye.